Hey everyone, this is Kayla. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here for the fourth day of Plan Miss. And we're going to be talking about goal setting and sh I'm showing you the goal setting template in the Intentional Growth Planner. It is linked in the description below if you want to grab it for OneNote or if you want to grab it for GoodNotes or just grab the PDF so you can use it with any PDF writer. So on the day one of Plan Miss, we imported the planner into OneNote and um, we're continuing to import um, various pages as the days go on in Plan Miss. We fill out this planning template for the month. Then on um, the day two of Plan Miss, we looked at the weekly spread and I showed you how to use this specific weekly spread. And we started looking at the purpose pages, my purpose and ideal day. And I had filled that out for you in the GoodNotes app so you could take a look at that. Yesterday, we did the wellness wheel and reflection so we can look at what areas of our life are going really well and what things need to go a little bit better and how can we do that and really focus on that. So today, I already made a new section and imported the um, goal setting template. If you're not sure how to import into OneNote, go back to my previous videos and watch those because that shows you how to do it. So I wanted to show you this template it's called the goal setting template and it starts out with the left side being sort of a guide for creating a robust goal and then the right hand side for having space to take notes. So in the SMART goal section, SMART, as, and I'm going to be using my, um, my keyboard to actually demo some of this for you. Do, do, do. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and right here on the side somewhere. Let me just get out of here. <laughs> okay, so SMART goal means um, specific, measurable, achievable, and relatable relative, um, relevant, terrible speller, don't worry about that, <laughs> and time bound. So we want to use this when thinking about how to create our goals because we want to be able to measure if we're doing well and we're finding success. And if we're not doing that, we're not being proactive about creating our goals. So I have set a goal here. So in one year, I want to learn about 12 major issues for Americans and global citizens. So I started, don't mind this crazy brainstorming, um, <laughs> messy goal setting template, but that's how it's supposed to be. I have thought of different issues I want to cover. Climate, healthcare, economy, infrastructure, etc. Um, harm reduction, our criminal justice system. So I really want to be an informed citizen and share more and really be able to advocate for others. And I've always said that I want to run for office someday and so that's my, motiva my motivation and um, behind why I want to do this goal. But first, let's talk about the, the structure of the goal. Is this specific? Yes, it's specific. I have specific topics I want to learn about. I know how many I want to learn about in one year. Measurable. Yes, I can measure how many topics I learned about. And I can have different milestones for what it means to actually learn and maybe that means consuming so many books. Maybe that means being able to have some talking points on each issue. Um, achievable. Yes, I think 12 is achievable because that means I can do one every month and I'm not overwhelming myself with multiple topics per month. Relative or relevant or relatable. I think it's really important to be an informed citizen right now. There are a lot of issues that come in the news cycle on social media, and I think we need to do ourselves... Um, a favor and really learn and become um, become knowledgeable about these things so that we can speak in in a um, a way that's accurate but also be very open to other perspectives so having multiple angles learn learned about each subject so you're not just so one-sided in an echo chamber and then time bound yes within one year so I think this is a pretty good goal so again my motivation behind why is to be an informed citizen, to be able to advocate for others, to be able to share information, and um, be open to additional viewpoints. So I love using my Bluetooth keyboard. I will link the one that I have 
Um, it's off Amazon. It's not an affiliate link. Um, I just happen to have it. It's very cheap. It's called the Artec one, and it works very well with my... I'm using an um, Apple... Um, I have an iPad, and it's an Air... And it's the Air 4. So I really, really like this one. So again, I'm just kind of typing outside of my template and dragging it in. So metrics and milestones could be... And you can come up here, and you can kind of use... Um, the different you can use like the bullets you can use the check boxes kind of fun okay so bullets my metrics or milestones would be um, books read per month on each topic it could also be um, having talking points on each topic um, so that I'm I'm kind of retaining the information that I'm reading it could be um, sharing on my blog so that I am sharing back out that information. And uh, it could also be having conversations, feeling comfortable having conversations with people. And I'd wanna say with like X number of people, for example, so that it's very specific. All right, so I'm just gonna drag that over. I haven't actually done this before, so you guys are kind of my guinea pigs. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, cool. This is so much fun. Um, and then potential barriers um, and solutions. Potential barriers could be um, finding time in my schedule. So and a solution for that would be time blocking this in and using my leader standard work for this. Um, it could be choosing a topic, but a solution could be um, having my list and picking ahead of time so I don't have analysis paralysis in the month. And it, another solution could also be, um, you know, kind of like the, you know, relevant, you know, what is in the news or is a you know, active social conversation. So those are some examples of barriers and how solutions. So you want to think of all the things that could prevent you from reaching your goal so that you are prepared ahead of time um, for all of those things. And you can actually uh, come up with solutions ahead of time before you're in the moment to deal with them. All right, so the next part of the template is the monthly, weekly, and daily actions to take. So you want to start kind of on a high level. So for me, on a month, this means I have to learn about one issue if I'm going to do 12 per year. So I need to learn about one issue. And the actions to take probably look like um, reading probably one to two books on a topic. It could also mean um, seeking op opposing viewpoints from trusted thought leaders. And so I'm just going to leave it there. And, and you can kind of brainstorm. And you get, you get the idea. And then on a weekly basis, what does that mean? It, it probably means planning time to read and so it means probably looking at the current week and the next week and planning time to read and it probably means researching um, so time blocking my days it probably means researching books and articles and so we'll leave it at that you get the idea And then on a daily basis, this is probably the actual like reading and learning. So this is probably read X pages and books. Um, this probably means like comment on social media to build relationships and learn. This probably means writing my blog posts. Or podcast episodes whatever I want to do to be able to share and, and when you share and teach you end up learning too so I consider that part of this goal 
Okay, so now I have this template filled out. So that's how you would use it. I think to be able to take daily action on a goal, small steps, really builds up to being able to meet that larger goal. And so it's very helpful thinking like, okay, every month I got to read a book, but how am I going to do that? Which means I need to plan time to read and then I need to actually read and do the work. So this is an example of how this template helps you get from a SMART goal to taking action and accomplishing the goal. And then you could use the second page to document your milestones. I love using these little stars in OneNote and you could have milestone one and you could put dates that you want to achieve these and then you can check them off once they're done which is pretty cool so you could do like this and you could say uh, item one and then when you're done achieving it you can come here and check the box it would be so cool to have this in your milestone section or on here on the second page I love using OneNote for that functionality um, I can maybe take notes on this page have question marks there's so many different things that you can do in OneNote that's I think is um, you don't have the option in other programs so all right, everybody, I hope that was helpful for you. So again, if you want to check out this planner, it's linked in my bio or in the description below. And for both OneNote, PDF, and GoodNote. And then let's see, tomorrow I'll be back with another video on the fifth day of Plan Miss for showing you how to use the habit tracker. All right, everybody, take care and have a wonderful week.